Hey everyone, welcome back to Grade Gain, where every student can make progress. Now, I've been having a little look at where people have been watching from, so I'd like to say Dobry Dienji to everyone in Slovakia. We're on to another of our required practicals today. This one we're looking at for GCSE Combined Science is the current voltage characteristics of a diode. Now, as always, the instructions are downloadable from my web shop, so make sure you get a copy of those before we start. So, the equipment that we need. We're obviously going to need some sort of power supply. We're going to need a voltmeter again. We're going to need an ammeter again. We're going to need some connecting wires. And then the two things that we really need. We need a small ceramic resistor. Now this acts as a protective device just to protect the diode from overloading and blowing up. And we need a diode. Now in this case, we're going to be using an LED, a light emitting diode. So we're going to use that as our oh. diode. So if we look at the instructions, we can see we have our circuit diagram here. We have our power supply, which includes our rear stat for adjusting the voltage across the diode. We have a 10 ohm protective resistor, our ammeter, our diode, and our voltmeter is in parallel across the diode. Now we can connect up our circuit. We connect from our power supply to our resistor. I'm going to use a component holder here just to make it easier to keep the resistor in place. So there's our resistor. We then go from our resistor to our ammeter. From our ammeter to another component holder for our LED. Now if we look carefully at our LED, we can see that our LED has got one leg shorter than the other one. This one is the longest, this one is the shortest. So what we do is we bend the leg like that so that we are really clear that this is the longest leg because it's the one with the bend in it. We connect our LED into our component holder making sure that the long leg, that's the one that we have just bent, is connected on the positive side of our circuit and then we connect back up to our power supply. We now want to connect our voltmeter in parallel. And there we have our completed circuit from our power supply through to the resistor, through our ammeter, through our LED, back to the power supply and the voltmeter in parallel. As with our ohmic and non-ohmic conductor required practicals, we have a results table here for measuring the voltage, our independent variable and the current, the dependent variable. We can also calculate the resistance after the experiment. So we're going to start recording our results. We've got 3.74 volts on the voltmeter and 0.12 amps on the ammeter. As with the other required practicals, to get our zero voltage reading, we turn the power supply off, which shows us we have zero volts and zero amps. To get the negative values of voltage, we swap the connectors round on the power supply. And now we can work back up the voltage, making sure that we don't go above 4 volts, because otherwise we may run the risk of damaging our LED. Now if we look carefully at our power supply, we can see we're getting 3.99 volts from there, but we've got absolutely nothing happening on our LED. This doesn't mean it's broken, this means it's working in the correct way and we shall see that when we plot our graph. So there are our full set of results from plus 3.75 down to minus 3.99 and we can see the current changes. 
so we can now draw our axes remember voltage along the bottom and current on the Y notice I've drawn this as a T shape we'll now label up the axes notice on the current I've gone up in point zero twos point zero two zero four zero six zero eight and at zero eight it then goes to 0 0.1 and then 0.12 we can now plot our first result which was 3.75 3.75 and 0.12 and now we can plot the rest of the results so we can see we've got a line here curving down and then flat along the bottom so let's add our line of best fit this is a straight line here which then curves down to zero and we go along there and that is the characteristic graph for a diode in the reverse bias, negative voltage, we have zero current flow, which is why our LED wasn't on. And then it is linear after this initial curve. This is called the knee of the graph. And it's linear there. It obeys Ohm's law for that portion of the graph. You can see that we have a threshold of one volt below which nothing happens and above which we start to get a current flow. So there we have it. You can see that the current voltage characteristics for our diode are very, very different to our fixed resistor and our filament lamp. Remember, the filament lamp gives us that lovely S-shaped curve and our fixed resistor is a straight line. With our diode though, we get that line going horizontally with a slight curve called the knee and then it's a linear relationship again after that. I hope you've enjoyed the practical. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel, Grade Game, and have a look at some of the other required practicals, see what you think of those. Hopefully they've been helpful. Good luck with your GCSEs. Thanks for watching.